My name is Heather Phillips. This is my Exhibit A of my speech over the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. The first exhibit I will be talking about is the Star Spangled Banner, the flag that inspired the national anthem. The first, the main part of this exhibit is the flag. The flag was made in Baltimore, Maryland by a flag maker named Mary Pickersgill in 1813. After being made in 1813, it was flown over Fort McHenry signifying the American win in the Battle of Baltimore. The Francis Scott Key seen this, and that is what inspired him to write the national anthem we know today. This flag is over 200 years old, but it hasn't been very well preserved. The original length of the flag was 30 by 42 feet. The current length of the flag, however, now is 30 by 34 feet. This picture in the right hand corner is a picture of what the flag looks like today. I got this picture off of the Smithsonian National Museum of American History website. According to pbs.org, it is now located in a filtered light, low oxygen chamber to be able to prevent even more damage and to allow future generations to be able to see the flag today or for years to come. This picture in the left hand corner is a picture of what this chamber looks like and what the flag will look like if you ever visit the museum. Overall, this museum, the, this exhibit is very important to be able to show kids what inspired our national anthem. It's also one of the most popular exhibits in the museum, but this museum has so much more to offer, like the next exhibit, the American Presidency, A Glorious Burden.